Hello everybody, welcome to Country Boy Cooking with Marshall. Man, I am so glad to be here with you. We got you a good in the day. Mama's right over there, I know you can't see her, but she's watching every move I'm making with this dish because it's one of my favorites. She's always cooked at Thanksgiving. We've had a lot of requests for chicken and dressing. How many wants that? I know I do, I love it. Let me show you where I got this at. Uh, we got a whole hen here. She's probably about seven pounds. I got a big one. I got about three or four uh, chicken wings in it. I'm after this broth, y'all, and of course I'm after the chicken too, and you can see how, look at that, how pretty. I've had this thing boiling, it's, you know, with all this, probably about a, hmm, about an hour, hour and a, well, about an hour and 15 minutes, hour and a half. And also we got our boiled eggs right here. We love putting boiled eggs in our dressing, y'all. A lot of people may not, but let me show you how to do this. And we're gonna go ahead now and get this thing here off, get all the bones separated from it and everything, all the, uh, the stock and everything separated, and we'll be back to show you the next step. Okay, everybody, we got everything ready here. If Lynn, if you'll show right here, y'all, I got my chicken all chopped up, ready to go. We got about a cup of celery that I've got diced pretty good. You want it sort of small. That's some good stuff, y'all, right there. Got about a cup of an onion. Got about eight boiled eggs that we got, you know, roughly. They don't have to be fine chopped, just something like that. Also got uh, some uh, cornbread rolls right here. I went ahead and bought these things at the uh, supermarket just for time's sake, but uh, we'll have a video on real soon how Mama does her cornbread. So y'all watch this. First thing we're going to do is crumble it up. Crumble the cornbread up real good in your thing. I'm going to work real fast so y'all watch this. Just crumble it up. It ain't going to be real fine right now. That liquid stock's going to help break it down. Y'all, this is some good stuff right here. You've got to try this. This right here is one of the staples in our family since I was a little boy, Mama. Show them who's watching me over there, Lynn. Yeah, she's watching. Mama. <laughs> she's watching every movie makes. All right, let's continue uh, getting all the cornbread good and crumbled up. Okay, now here's the stock. Here's the good stuff right here, the chicken stock. I probably got, y'all, I probably got a good gallon here because I, I put a lot in it. So we're gonna go ahead and pour. Y'all, we're just gonna put uh, about three quarters of it in there. Then we're gonna stir this up real good and see what the consistency is. As you can see, it's looking pretty good. Ain't nothing like that good old chicken stock. That stuff's hot and you can smell it all through the house right now. All right, now we're going to add our eight eggs. You see, they're fine. They're not finely chopped. They're just, and like I say, this right here is a preference thing, y'all. It's a preference thing. Some people like to put their eggs in there and let them cook with it, but we like the boiled eggs. I like the boiled eggs in it. All right, we've also got a cup of onion. We're going to put that in. Chopped up onion. And a cup of celery. This is really good in dressing. Stir that up a little bit. You want to get it all real good and integrated together. That way when it goes in the oven, all the flavors are coming together. By the way, we're going to put this in the oven. I've got my oven preheated at 400. We're going to put this in there probably for around 45 minutes. Just keep your eye on it because everybody's oven is different. Swung. Everything in this thing is already cooked, if you'll notice. You know, the chicken's cooked, the eggs cooked, everything's cooked. It just needs to come together, more or less gel together in the oven, so. Now let's add about half our chicken. Stir it in well. Well, this is going to make a big old thing of dressing here now. Okay, put the rest of my chicken in once I get that right there good and stirred in. Y'all, you can do this without the chicken, but like I say, mama's made this since I've been little and she's always made chicken in dressing, so that's the way I like it. 
Get this stirred up real good right here before we put the magic ingredient in. How many knows what the magic ingredient is in dressing? If you guess sage, you're absolutely right. Now the sage thing, y'all, the sage thing is going to come down to taste. I love McCormick's. McCormick's, if you see me, love your products. I'm going to put a start with a thing like this. I'll probably start with about half a bottle of this. And y'all, you're going to stir it up. You're really going to stir it up good now. And then after that, we're going to go by taste. Put a little salt and pepper in it. Uh, let me do it like mama. Let me try her measuring yeah, thing here. Like mama. <laughs> we're watching. <laughs> okay, I got about, about a teaspoon of salt here. Let's throw that in there. Uh, about a teaspoon of pepper. Y'all know me if you've been with us for a while. Pepper's my favorite spice. You really can't overdo it. Unless you're using peppercorns. Boy, I run some beef stew one time using peppercorns. Ooh. All right, now we're going to stir this real good. We're going to stir it up real good. And right here's where you really want to stir it up real good. Make sure you get that sage everywhere. That way, you're going to do a taste test with it just like this to see if that's good enough, if it's, if it's enough sage. Well, let's get that spoon down in there and put some muscle behind it. Oh boy, this is looking good. Y'all, if you notice, a lot of these dishes are real simple. It's just, you know, having everything prepared beforehand, chopping everything up, getting, you know, teaspoon of that, tablespoon of that, getting it all ready. It'll go together quick after that. All right, let me try this. If you notice, I got three spoons here. Now that's for camera. If I was not on camera, I would double dip. Who would? Now, come on, cooks. Y'all tell me. You know you would. Y'all, you could literally eat that just like that. You could literally eat that just like that. It's so good. I'm going to stir that just a little bit more, and I'm going to taste it one more time before I put any more sage in. I don't want to overdo the sage. Sage is powerful. It's a powerful spice. But the way it tasted just then, it tasted good enough. Let me, second spoon. Uh, maybe just a little bit more. So I probably put in about, I would say, four good tablespoons to start with. So right there is going to be about five good tablespoons and I'm going to probably call that good. With the salt and pepper, you know, you can season that part as you like it um, because you can always put that on after it's done and it's in your plate, you know, but I think the teaspoon of each is going to be good enough right now. Get that spoon down in there. Don't be afraid of it. This is the perfect consistency, y'all. It almost looks like tuna salad. Look at that. It's like a big old thing of tuna salad. Or chicken salad. Okay, let's do another test. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm so now what we're going to do, is going to pour it into this. Make sure I don't get too much in it. I'm going to call that good right there. I'm going to have another pan full over there, looks like. Like I said, I got that big old chicken today. I meant we was going to make some good chicken and dressing today. Lord, have mercy. This is good. Okay, everybody. Look how good that looks. And now I'm going to take it over to the oven. We're going to bake it for about 45 minutes on 400. But maybe around 35, 40 minutes right now. Go ahead and check it. Because what you're looking for is a good brown on top. Like I say, everything's already done in it. So you're not eating nothing raw. So let's put it in there for 45 minutes and we'll be right back. 
Okay, everybody, the dressing is done. Check this out. Cut the oven off. Look at that how pretty, y'all. Take it right over here beside Mama Joyce. <laughs> yep, I'm ready for taste time. <laughs> That's pretty. Mm, that looks good. Okay, everybody. We're back for a good old taste time. And Sonny Boy done good today. He's got some pretty dressing. Of course, he listened to Mama. <laughs> So we got the dressing done, and we got the gravy, and we got more dressing cooking. And today I opened up a can of, you can use chicken, uh, cream of chicken soup, or cream of celery, if you don't know how to make the old, the regular old fashioned gravy. And you heat that soup up with a little bit of water, and you can add your little bit of chopped eggs, or chopped chicken that you have left over, you can put it in it. But it's really good, and it makes a pretty little smooth gravy that I'm fixing to devour. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm actually getting to uh, taste test Thanksgiving before it even gets here. So I am blessed by that. So here we go. If it ain't too hot. Good. It's been a year since I've ate this, and this is so good. Uh, Sunny Boy has outdone uh, <laughs> Mama Joyce. I doubt that. Mama Joyce's country cooking today. He has given it his all, and it is really good and really tasty. So, y'all, try this. Don't forget your chicken to go with it. I got a rotisserie chicken up there. I'm going to eat with it. <laughs> we cheated today because I wasn't able to stand up and help do a lot of stuff. But chicken and cranberry and dressing, you couldn't ask for no better tea. Mm -hmm. So I'm truly uh, thankful, grateful, and I'm blessed because I get to eat Thanksgiving before y'all do. Bye. <laughs> Enjoy being with you today. And if I don't get to see you no more, happy Thanksgiving and God bless all of you. Bye.